Hey Leo, welcome. This is going to be your mid to end of April reading for 2023. And during this time, from the 19th to the 20th, Kona, I apologize. There's people working on my, um, my driveway and she hears them. But I have to get these readings in. It's my day off. Um, there's going to be a solar eclipse from the 19th to the 20th. So that's going to be involved within, I'm going to do a separate reading for that. But there's another, you know, there's another reason to feel a shift in energy. And we're going to see what's coming towards you in terms of love. You know to always take what resonates. And at any time that you would like me to tune into just your energy, you can click on the link below and visit my Etsy shop. Over there, I offer a variety of readings. And always make sure you check out your Rising Moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. It's not a personal reading, so it's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. What messages need to come out for Leo from now till the end of April, Spirit? From now until the end of April. Let's see if that does come out. I'm going to shuffle around again. From now until the end of April 2023. Wow. All right, we're going to take them. Because it's never going to just be one, you know, thing for each one of, one message for all of you. We have a heart burning. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. This was the next one. Looks like a bunch of cycles that you may have been through, obviously in your journey, but possibly with this person showing up. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. And be surprised where it leads. And then here's the other one. And I feel that two people are in separation. I feel a transformation, possibly an awakening going through either you or possibly both of you. But I do feel that there is a desire for this person that you have. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to yell at all three of them. Our tree outside that I love, I feed all the birds with it, is eating our roots. And this is the second time we have had the ground had to be broken open. I feel like he's going to make me get rid of that tree. All right, spirit. And happy Easter or happy holiday to, you know, whatever one you celebrate. Just for me, it's happy Easter. All right. For my Leos. And this person that has passion for them. Yeah. See, I do feel some kind of like turmoil or it says weathering the challenges ahead will bring in new and positive will bring in a new and positive future. So with thorns being here, I do feel that there has been obstacles, um, challenges, possibly detours. But if you see it starting to unravel, it's starting to clear and the sun is starting to shine in. So I feel like the, you know, the worst part of a connection for those of you that it's gonna resonate is over. Now I'm going to pull the messages from them to you in the beginning. And then I'll do the Scrabble tiles at the end. So it's a little bit different. Go, girl, baby. I promise you'll get a treat, okay? All right, card of 11. When we're talking, things just come out of my mouth and afterward, I'm not even sure why I said them. 
your person, this person has a hand tattoo. Um, but I feel like there have been disagreements. There have been um, negative things said between each other. Past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes, and that makes me afraid. Leo, with this coming out, there is a soul tie here. I need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom. This is could be very well this lifetime that your both your souls made a contract to pay back karmic debt. That's possibly where the thorns come in at. There are subconscious fears affecting our ability to attract love and abundance. The universe is helping us make them conscious so we, that we can easily attract what we want within each other. And then, just like you, I'm always doing some form of mission. My energy and wisdom supports those around me. All right. Let's get into the reading, guys. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. So you may have strong water in your chart, Leo, or you're dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you may know them as a different sign. They may have strong water in their sign, but this is the energy of ready for a commitment, of ready for a relationship. Finding your perfect fart partner. I was going to say partner for those of you that want to laugh. Finding your perfect partner. Um, and like I said, for some of you, it's going to be a soul tie, a soul mate. Your energy, the five of wands. There's definitely been challenges with this person. Possibly arguments, disagreements, but I'm feeling um, a separation. Their energy is the ten of cups. So they do feel you are their perfect partner. More water energy. Being with you made them emotionally content. Being with you made them think about their future and what they want. And I feel like this person is going to make this romantic gesture, this offer of love. Remember, it's like they very well could be paying back karmic debt. But they know that you're their soul tie. I feel like it's like an apology coming through for the things that they've said, for it may possibly even their actions. But I feel like a huge transformation going on within them. All right, let's see. Please clarify Leo's energy as the Five of Cups. And Six of Cups it wants to make its way out. Look, Six of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Cups. At a time, you may... And they might be a younger water sign, but at a time, I feel it was a light offer. It was a connection. Um, I, I just feel that there was things that they needed to heal from and figure out. Yeah, you feel like it's been a battle with this person, an uphill battle. I mean, you're going to be resilient and persistent with it, but I feel like you just backed off a little bit. It's like... I'm going to let them come to me. And if you can hear my other dog on, in the other room howling. I'm sorry, guys. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see? They've been, definitely been through some soul searching. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. They're slowly making their way to you. I have water energy, earth energy here. But they're slowly making their way to you. Soul searching. Knowing that you are that light or that heart in their lantern. Slowly making their way to you. This is divinely guided. It's a twist of fate in both of your lives. And it's like spirit, the universe, they're saying, no need to worry. We're in control of this. 
it's coming to you whether you're ready or not because it's meant to be in your life. They're meant to be in your life. And please clarify the Knight of Cups. All right. Yeah, they are coming back for a breakthrough, a confession of love. They're going to make that romantic gesture. And for once, surprisingly, there's no air energy here. I've got water. Like I said, you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, but I also have water and earth. No air whatsoever. Now, guys, if it completely resonates and you're dealing with an air sign, it's just, you know, that energy is not showing up here. All right, please clarify for Leo additional messages. Yep. They're taking the courage back. They're taking that leap of faith and coming towards you. I feel like you're always in their thoughts. Soul ties. I love it. For some of you, it's a soulmate. Anything else? Okay. And like I said, Leo, I feel you were the one that walked away. With the five of wands, some of the burdens and the challenges might have been too too much for you. And you're like, you know what? I Okay, baby. I, I blame you now. Kona, stop. It's almost like, um, you know, you showed up, you gave what you could probably, I, and if it's with the right person, I know Leo's give a hundred percent and you know, they just had things that they needed to work through, but they're, t you're, they've realized they want a brand new beginning with you, that you were that opportunity in their life. And the reason this didn't pan out the first time, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But I feel like you realize that this partner was something different than other things that you, other people that you've dated in your life. And it's like they're breaking free. They're not going to avoid this anymore. All right, we've got P, L, A, Y, X, B, G, K, I, E, uh, let's see what else. R, and F. So Leo, you know to always take what resonates. Never try to force it to fit. But you definitely have a lot of passion for this person. And they... You being in their life made them think about their future. When I put down the K, I heard Kanye. Now, I basically listen to country music. I mean, I like probably all music. It depend, depends what kind of mood I'm in. But I do like country music. But I heard Kanye. So, I don't know. Take that as it resonates. But this is definitely a soul tie, soulmate connection. For some, the wheel of fortune is here. It's out of your hands. You know? Continue, continue doing you. They are definitely sorry for things that they have said. Possibly actions. When I was putting out the tiles, it was P-A-Y. So they could have also been suffering when it came to finances and you felt like maybe you were putting out more than they were. Um, they may not have had it at the time. They might, for some of you, 
they might have needed to pay you back and couldn't depend it you know it's going to be different for each and every one of you but again happy easter i will be back for the um solar eclipse readings for each and every one you know zodiac sign click on the link below to my etsy shop if you want to check that out for a personal reading and leave a flower emoji in the comment section letting me know that you're interested in the three free love readings that i'm giving away during this month all right guys so much love and light